Great. So start with him. Now, we've got to make that pretty positive. It's no good putting greys and so on in. We've got to go in with a really strong colour. So I think I'll go in with now here with the 175. Now, this is a bit risky, as you can imagine. You're probably holding your breath now, aren't you? But we've got to bring it back down. We've got to think about having some breaks. It can't just be solid. Here, we've got to have some a little, sort of like a ripple effect. And it comes down. That's, it's, that's, you see, what you're reflecting is from here onwards, not there, here. So now we've got to think about the jacket. These don't have to be absolutely spot on. You know, as long as you represent it, which I'm doing really well. And when you get down to here, it splinters off a little bit like that. So that will do. I think I quite like that. And the lady. Now, the lady is red. We're not, re again, we're reflecting this upwards. So we're... We've got this, and they are close together, Connor. We've got to be careful here. We've got a gap there, which will close a little bit as we get further up. And until we basically become one. And just like a gent, we splinter it off, but of course we've got this to contend with too. I don't mind those little breaks, I think they, are, they could be useful to us. I'll leave them there. And I think that that probably is pretty close. We want some a little bit of white there as well. Oof. The penalty of sharp points. <laughs> and we're split that now. The other thing about that is we've always got the dark to put in. This is one line two. of that comes in useful. But again, don't, don't, don't need to overdo it. 